Wipro possesses all the characteristics of a solid business at its core. However, in recent times, the IT behemoth has been criticized for its stance and related activities around the trending subject of moonlighting. However, the majority of the top Indian IT companies are raising concerns about employees taking on a second job in addition to their primary one but sacking hundreds of employees followed by rescinding employment offers may turn any business into a villain. So let us look at how Wipro waged war against moonlighting and its subsequent consequences. It was all going well for the company till the 19th of August, but on the 20th of August, its chairman Rashad Premji raised the issue by giving his stance on moonlighting. He said the company has no place for employees who work directly with rivals while on Wipro payrolls. The statement spread like wildfire. Weeks later, the company sacked around 300 employees for moonlighting. It is simple. It is an act of integrity violation. We terminated the services of those people. Premji said he had received brickbats for his comments on moonlighting. When things were returning to normal, the firm made the news again for the wrong reasons. Several freshers' offer letters were cancelled after months of delays in their onboarding process. It was said that the entire process of rescinding offer letters had been initiated in response to a global downturn in the IT sector. Following this, the situation worsened for the firm as it registered a 9.3% decline in net profit for the July-September quarter. According to a statement from the company, the profit attributable to equity shareholders fell to 2,659 crore rupees. Interestingly, the business generated a combined net profit of 2,930 rupees and 60 paise crore in the same quarter. This was followed by the company shares plunging more than 6% to hit a 52-week low on BSE in Thursday's early deals. Damage control measures when it seemed that the bad phase of the company would continue for a long, the management started damage control. India's fourth-largest IT services provider has released a five-year plan for campus recruits outlining their wage structure, annual raises, and incentives to ensure they are aware of what to anticipate. The company then announced that it would provide 100% variable compensation to 85% of staff members during the second quarter. Chief Financial Officer, Jatin Dalal said the remaining 15% of employees would get their variable pay by the policy. Still. He did not specify the variable pay due to these workers or the pay bands to which they belong. Interestingly, Wipro reduced variable pay across bands last quarter. While individuals in junior bands earned 70% of their variable compensation for the quarter, those in bands B and C and above, mid-manager level and above, did not, which was explained by margin constraints. In addition, the business is requesting that workers visit its offices three times each week beginning the week of October 10th.